Hi, I'm Marisol and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing something a little bit more different. Um, I wanted to show everyone or you, whoever is watching, um, what I do or how I back plan um, during a week or how I've been back planning lately because that's what I've been doing a lot more than usual um, when I'm waiting for a special kit or some stickers. And so, um, I am using Caitlin Plan's Pink Pumpkins, her Halloween quotes, and her Starry Cats. And I decided to pair those with, according to Ali's Floral Ghosts. Um, and I'm doing a little bit of lettering here. I thought that would be cute. Um, and I'm using the Archer and Olive Acrylograph. No, not Acrylograph. Calligraph, um, pink velvet, um, and it's it turned out super cute. I really love my lettering using these brush pens, so you might want to consider getting it if you um, also like to hand letter and it, are finding it difficult. These brush pens um, do kind of help make your lettering look really pretty. Anyhow. Um, here I am. I am right now um, decorating my pages. Um, and like I said before, I thought this would be a good idea to do it. Um, usually how I back plan is I start kind of decorating. I go day by day and putting in my boxes and then the decorations. Um, but when I started decorating, I got really carried away and went and I went to town with it. So I go ahead and decorate all my pages and I, um, as much as I could, I annotated um, a lot of the stuff. And in this video, you'll get two parts of it. You're going to get me decorating it and then I come back and in input all my um, information and... Um, how do I do that? I guess I should explain. Um, what I do is the week that I am waiting for a kit or something or some stickers, um, what I do is I grab a notes page and I put it in that week and every day I come in and I write in my plans or at least I try to come in every day. Um, sometimes I, I might just go in um, once um, once every other day. Um so yeah, I um, I go in and I input that information, and I um, and I kind of keep it in that week. So when the stickers that I do am I that I am waiting for come in, then all I do is I pull out the that sheet, I pull out my pages, and I start decorating. And like I said, I go in day by day. I input my boxes, my my um, the stuff that I want to write in, and decorations around. So this does look a little bit different, but like I said, um, the stickers were really cute, and once I got in it, I just kind of went with it and decorated all over. And I really like how this turned out. Um, so here I am. I'm. Going on to the next pages. Oh, maybe I should also say this. So also the other thing when I um, back plan, I don't necessarily put in lines. Um, I use bullet points. Um, and that's kind of to annotate things that I did during that week. Um, so you're not going to see lines. And... Um, this was a pretty busy week for me, um, which after I started decorating, and like I said, I, I was really into it because I was liking how it was looking, um, I realized that I stickered it up, and um, and I did leave room, but I don't think I left enough room to kind of write everything in it, so I, can, I did pick and choose a couple of things that I didn't include um, to write in it, but it was in the page that I kept, um, there in my planner. Um, 
so I did decorate the where that that kind of header where the dates and the weekly weeks the days of the weeks are um, with stars and some accents I thought that was cute I included some um, quotes from the Halloween quotes of um, Caitlin Plans um, but for the most part it, it has a lot of more boxes than what I tend to um, use in a spread um, I also go in a little bit with um, what is it with washi on some areas like after I'm done um, and putting all my boxes um, there was certain areas that I kind of felt that just needed something to kind of tie it all together and I use kind of this polka dot washi I believe it's from the goat yeah the washi that I do use here is from the goat girl goodies and um, I put a few strips here and there that I thought just it that area just needed a little bit of something. And so here I am, I'm giving the little bit of touches to that, to my pages. And I wanted to include an, another ghost on the other page. And so I thought maybe kind of putting it up there close to that box would be good. And um, the other ghost on the other side of the edge, kind of like floating into the page. And the other one kind of floating out. So I thought that was cute. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much my spread. And now I'm like, here we are. I come back in and I remove the pages. And that is a page that I have um, where I have everything written out. And I'm going to zoom you in so that you can see kind of the variety of pens that I use. I use the Pigma Micron pens. on. Uh, a lot of different sizes. I use the Moji pen and the Archer and Olive Acrylograph. It's the pink velvet one in the spread. And so, I mean, I'm going to come back and kind of finish this off. But like I said, basically, I'm just um, looking at my pages and... Um, and putting the the plans that I had already um, had on the other pages. So I'm gonna put some music so you can follow along and um, then I'll be back, all right? See you in a little bit.
Hi, back again. So here it is. This is my spread, all filled out, nice and beautiful and full. And I just love everything about this spread. Um, I hope you like it too. Please let me know if this was useful for you or if you like a more in-depth of my process. Um, please like and subscribe. And um, if you like to see more of my stuff, head on over to Instagram at my little planning corner. Um, but yeah, this is it. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.